You're watching KCAL 9 News at 2. As you know, Lisa, Hanukkah begins this weekend, and today we're getting a taste of some traditional holiday favorites. Joining us now is Alon Cohen, owner of Got Kosher Cafe and Bakery, and his lovely daughter, Sophie. So happy to have you guys Hi. here. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, Hanukkah here. just a few days away. I How's know. It? It's very coming very, very fast. Coming very fast. Very and you fast. know, a lot of people don't really know the history of Hanukkah, and I know that's something you know L very well. Well, let me tell you, this is the, um, the major minor holiday. So there are major holidays. This is a minor holiday, but it's one of these underrated holidays that if the outcome would have changed, the civilization we know now wouldn't be. And I'm oh. going to explain that a little later. Oh. But quickly, the, uh, the Greeks invaded Israel, wanted to uh, force the Jews to uh, change their religion, to adore, uh, worship Zeus. They wanted to desecrate the plant. There was a uh, civil revolt and fight, like the first uh, civil war, but it's also the first uh, religious war for religious freedom. So that was le led by uh, Judah Maccabee, famous uh, leader, who kicked after three years, kicked the very organized Greek army. And then they recaptured the temple and cleaned it up and wanted to uh, rededicate the temple to the Jewish religion. The problem is that they had the oil, you know, the menorah, there's a big menorah in the temple, and uh, every day you have to have a certain amount of oil so the flame continues. And they had only enough oil for one day. However, however, it lasted. It lasted, it, lasted eight, eight, eight days. It takes a long time to make sacred oil because exactly. every, every uh, you have to take one drop for every olive. So it takes a long time to make the sacred one. Well, we so, have a table of gorgeous food that we want to talk about. This is all about Hanukkah. So tell us about some of these so beautiful follow, things. So following the symbolic of oil, what we have uh, cooked in our tradition, in the Jewish uh, European tradition, are the latkes. Uh -huh. Okay, those look great. And uh, in Israel and the uh, Arabic countries and the Sephardic uh, countries, uh, beignets or little uh, uh, donut filled mm -hmm. up with with different things, and in our restaurant, what are those filled with? There, I'll tell you. We we have it. We in our restaurant, <laughs> Got Kosher on Pico, we have a a, a, a sense of uh, twisting the tradition. So, for example, we take the challah, we make it with pretzel. We take oh, that looks so good. Yeah, this is uh, our famous uh, signature challah, and with chocolate, Belgian chocolate. So we take the latkes and we put instead of the traditional potato, onion, eggs, and flour latkes. We put cilantro, and cumin, and chipotle, and oh, wow. lime juice. This is the one I'm going you to make You spice it up a little bit. Exactly. You can show us how to make it? I'm going to show you. So very simply, you grate potato, and you make sure that you get all the water out of it. Okay. And you add some onion, and you add some egg and Ooh, you add delicious. a little bit of salt and pepper and you add some flour. However, in our little uh, uh, special uh, program of, uh, of latkes that are not like the other. You twist it up. I twist it up <laughs> and I did a... <laughs> I've never heard of the chipotle. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we added some, uh, some cumin, we added some cilantro, a little bit of chipotle, and a little bit of lime juice to cut the heat. And we make a mix, and very it looks beautiful. Like that. I have never had a latke yeah. like this, exactly. I promise you. Exactly, And since it's the holiday of the there world, we, go. we fry all of this. And how long do you fry it for? Uh, five minutes each side, maybe. It depends on your fryer, it depends on the flame. You want to start on the medium heat and then uh, stay like that until it gets crispy. The result should be this. Oh, this Very looks good. so good. Okay. What else are we looking at here? All right, so, and these, let me explain. These are the, the, the regular potato latke made with flour. And these are the potato latke with cilantro and lime that I showed you, made with non-gluten Flour oh, that's wonderful. So people with gluten allergies can eat. Exactly. And on December 12th, 
we will have the 12 12 12 deal where you can get 12 vodkas for 12 dollars oh can't beat that it's only one day only i got kosher you got a good daughter there 12, 12. <laughs> there you go 12 12 12 the, 12, 12, 12 the, the the first time we have this number uh, uh for the people who uh, cannot uh, stand uh, cannot have uh, gluten we use potato starch oh. Also, you can use any kind of non-gluten flour, like this uh, garbanzo bean flour, and you have rice flour, almond flour, any kind of flour. Very yeah, good. Everything so. looks so amazing. You're gonna, we're all gonna eat all, all of it after, I promise you. So. Thank you so much. My Got pleasure. Kosher. God yes, God. keep on keep on slicing there. For more information <laughs> on Got Kosher Cafe and Bakery, just head to our website, kl9.com. Click on Scene on TV. Coming up tomorrow here at 2 o'clock, we'll be joined by gift wrapping champion Rosie Sato. She'll be here, show us some simple techniques to help you out for the holidays and wrapping. And you guys keep on cooking because we'll be eating and uh, we want to get to flu season. It's kicked off to its earliest start in almost a decade and it is shaping up to be a bad one. So coming up next, we're going to find out how to prevent you and your family from catching it. It's coming up.